me. Um, I think I'm gonna wait for a little bit more people to join and then we start. But before we start, again, thank you for joining our training uh, together. Uh, prepare your question. Don't forget to tag me if you train with me on Instagram or Facebook. So let's make it all cool together. Let's start productive day. Yeah, if you have any questions or anything that bothers you, uh, what, what you want to ask me, uh, it's cool. Drop the comment below. Show me some likes, whatever. So yeah, let's make it super chill with the feedback from you so I can understand that I'm doing right. All right. Brazil in the house, okay. Cool. Bolivia. Wow, Latin America in the house. So once again, I want to introduce myself. My name is Kate. I'm from Ukraine. I'm currently in Florida. Um, and I'm here to break with you, to share maybe my tools. Um, yeah. yeah, just to share how I train, what I do. Hello from Singapore. questions to slowly start our training you can ask you can say whatever you want to say Poland okay cool UK is watching damn I'm so happy to see everybody all around the world so cool let's do it together so basically when I start, I just warm up myself a bit. Oh, by the way guys, let me know who trains right now with me, who's also have a space to dance. Let me know please in the comment uh, if you're training or you're just watching. Let me know. Wow, I'm overwhelmed with people joining. Wow, so cool. All right, what I like to do, guys, when I start warming up, I'm trying to start with the top rock, but also you can warm up your hand. get a handstand <laughs> we can do a handstand stable not walking let me know how many of us
we have enough people. Right now we have almost 500 people. Woo! Let's go, guys. Before we start, we have to warm up properly. Let's start from the neck. Me personally, I have some troubles with my neck. So how I warm up my neck is like this. When I was at psychotherapist, he told me that's the way you have to warm up your neck. Just a little uh, exercise for you in case you didn't know. I'm gonna do it next time. Let me know guys how you feel. 
Are you dancing top rock with me right now? Yeah, just let me know. Uh, if you do, if you train right now with me, just to take a few steps of top rock and just play around with it. As I said, you can do running man and you can add up variations on top of it. Of course, I got you. Power move in the end. yourself because I got used to training like that and you always have to change the way you train um, so when I start practicing I start with a jump rope but I didn't bring it today because instead of jump rope we can do a top rock just to like sweat it out like me right now Florida super hot so yeah you just warm up yourself without doing anything crazy physical to not hurt yourself then I prefer to do a little stretching for legs, arms. Let's actually do it right now. And then we can just do some rounds in a row. It's good for your stamina. And um, when you do a lot of rounds in the row, it develops your uh, freestyle because you practice all your moves over and over again and you always challenge your brain okay what I have to do next so your brain is used to figure out what to do next so also try to practice rounds uh, yeah like freestyling just using your vocabulary in a freestyle way so in case uh, when you're battling and you're kind of stressed and you forget what to do your body memory reminds you how you used to train and what other move you can do so
ready to do some footworks with me. I recently came to the point that dynamic footworks look like power. I know it's pretty obvious, but it just came to my head recently. We will try to do it together. And of course, after we're gonna do a proper, proper stretching. So we're not gonna be too sore today or next day. So, drop the sign if you're ready to break.
do the this is like me right now. <sighs> so let me know guys who is doing footwork with me right now. <laughs> CC footwork. Do a round without CC. But guys, I need to bring my breath real quick. <clears throat> question yesterday when people ask what do we actually do to pre uh, prepare for the competition uh, what I do is that I try to switch the way I practiced before because yeah it's really hard to improve yourself when you're doing on and on the same old thing so if you guys watch for example some uh, boxing fights and you know how they train they train more than they have to show at the actual fight so i think is you have to use the same approach as them since if you want to be able to do five rounds in the final battle you have to know how to do 10 rounds or even more so you are not get tired because when you get to the battle there is so many outside factors which influence on the, your result so it's not just you you can be 100 percent ready but you start to be nervous, you get stressed, you sleep, you forgot your move. So all that thing influences on you in your head and takes your energy. But if you're physically ready to do it, you can do it. But plus stress, you know? So you know how to handle it and you're not gonna do worse. If it makes sense for you guys. So, uh, I see the question, can you tell me how to create new things? How to create new things is, uh, to me, I just see the shape I like and I try to play around with it. It's like, try to think that you have this space and you can fill it up with your movement. Sometimes it's gonna be uh, weird looking moves, but at least you start to move in that direction. So how I create is that I take one move and I play around with it until I get something cool. Like, what if you're gonna do top rock, not like this, but with opposite hand, doing this, you know? Just like, try to play with the shapes your body is able to create. That's, that's it, you just have to come and do it. So, I think I'm ready to do some power. Everybody, <laughs> are you ready?
but help me out a bit with the 90s but it's still uh, I still can do it how I want is this type of walk Let me know what you think. Maybe you can give me some challenge. Kate, can you do this? Kate, can you do, I don't know, some mix of power? But most likely, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> no, I'm actually loving to do power right now. It gives you way more freedom and way more. And when I say power, it's not just power move, it's breezes too. So. Yeah, when you prove it, your braking just grows and you can use your space in a very beautiful and strong way. What move do you want? But I, you can't hit it. Oh. Uh, I have some move. It's my move, but I'm not uh, flexible enough to do it. But once I get it, you will be surprised. <laughs> All right. Who oh, got windmills? Let's try to do windmills. Like I hear it. When I do it, I don't like it, so I don't do fair.
in the comments let me know if you also have this move like 90s or 2000s let me know if you're also doing it or you have problems with it maybe my little advice can help you still I'm not master at these uh, moves yet but get in there okay kill the beat creating you know so I just have so yeah as I said I just take foundation which was created way before me starting uh, dancing breaking so I just take it and as I said I play around with it for example I have CC which I was avoiding before yeah, who stays with me for, uh, since the beginning. For example, CC's, it's pretty simple footwork. Yeah, but you just start to add up a little details like doing it. You know, you just add up some things onto it. on the floor what if you're gonna put opposite hand you know we just start I don't say it's my own things you know it's not my own I just take foundation and I just play around with it I add different legs different arms I try to create how I call it holes yeah like you grab your hand and your knee here is the hole which you can put your arm into it you know so there is just so many things you can add to develop in it you know just like okay let me do uh, footwork no hands or top rock adding up hands on the floor so how I create things I add up challenges to it Yeah. So, if you have some more questions, you can ask it right now. But yeah, as I said, you just take something and you just add up whatever you want. You can turn your head while doing it and it's going to look different, you know? If you do it on beat, boom, bam, boom, bam, you know? So, it's already different. So, CC is just the background of what you can build on top of it. 
you know. And the same with uh, different footworks, freezes, power also. You know, power, power move can be super creative and super dope. Yeah, so I think I came back to my breath. Oh my God, but I see right now the uh, question, how to stay motivated more on breaking. It's a really hard question because me personally, I went through being unmotivated completely. So you can let yourself to rest and just switch your focus onto something else. How I did, I started to play music and then it brought me the willing and wish to break again because I got inspired from music by being like by, by developing in it. So I'm like, oh, I want to develop and break in again, you know, with some different ideas. So it's okay to be unmotivated. You just go uh, change the environment. Don't blame yourself for being like, oh, damn, everybody training and I don't train because like, yeah, what I, can I force it? You can force it, but I don't think it's gonna be much sense in it. <clears throat> By the way, someone asked me before what was my favorite move. Uh, I think it's a head swipes. I got some, <laughs> some uh, variations of it. I don't know, I think, I'm doing it by myself, or I don't know if someone else created that too. But head swipes, everybody knows, right? From chest freeze, you go here. Yeah? Then I started to do it like with one hand. You know, one hand. And then, at this one hand, I add it up. Sorry guys, you have to <laughs> get used to my hair every time I do something on my head. So as you see, I did head swipes, basic move. Then one hand head swipes, also basic move. But what I do after is this. You know, I kind of thread. Boom. So I just add up something into this move. Or one time I did head swipes and I felt like my back kind of going like this, like I flex it. And then I'm like, damn, I think I can do a thread while doing head swipes, you know? Boom! Boom! <laughs> you know? So I just take head swipes and I just work on it until I get to something cool, you know? So you can do that too, you just start to play with your moves. Don't do my head swipes though. <laughs> yeah, and the same I think you can do with any other power. It's just because I feel comfortable doing head swipes. I like doing it, so I want to improve it, do something on top of it. But with the moves, I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, my, my people might say that you have to push it, but right now, in the way I see me dancing, I, I don't know if I want to do that flair, you know? I didn't find my way how to do it cool, so I will like it. Once I get it, I'll do flair. <laughs> Woo. So right now, if you wanna enjoy some more time with me, Let's just uh, cipher. I'm gonna just dance and hope you guys dance with me too, okay?
bisschen sloppy. <lacht> Gar halb. So guys, let me know what you think. Maybe you have some questions. Please go ahead. Whew. Damn, that was pretty intense. I don't know, I feel good. I feel good to start my day. Thank you, Marcel. awkward when you try something new you know when we all start doing something we always look funny and it's okay it's part of the process but how to uh, oh my god yeah I'm just reading and trying to say something in the same time yeah so the point is don't be scared of looking awkward because you're coming out of your comfort zone of course you're gonna look weird and scared that you don't look perfect but just try everything you were extending to try all the times. It's like, oh yeah, I wanna do power, but oh, no, not today. It's like, yeah, you have to try it. You have to go out of comfort zone and do it. Because when you see the progress, you will be super happy. Like, damn, yes, I did it. Good me, good me, you know? <laughs> and yeah, I saw another question is, how to connect power in footwork uh, that's a good one good question so it called transitions you know transition can be anything to me since I'm not really a power person but I'm trying to do like this I do head swipes a lot right I land all the times in the same position yeah like chair freeze for example so I'm trying to do like, okay, how else I can land? And then when I land, that's not the finish. After that, I have to do a transition to something else, yeah? So the same power move is not enough by itself. It's like you're doing windmill, then you stop, wake up and do top rock, like, yeah, cool. You got this move, but it doesn't mean anything. You didn't put any meaning into it. Transition bring you that meaning. Transitions can be your signatures. Transition can be the main move, not even power of footwork. Transition can be a main move, which is gonna be what? How he like, or how he or she got out of that move? Damn, that would look, look cool, you know? Transitions is that part which is missing between one move and another one. So let's say I do head swipes. Okay, Kate, you didn't <laughs> develop and didn't think beforehand what to do after, but you can do it like this. You know, just additional movement, yeah? 
The same with power. The easiest way to create transition into power is when you crash. It's like when my move is ending. If you do windmill and you end like this, from the move when you stop doing power into just footwork <laughs> yeah like guys it's just you have to trust the process and just move move all the times create your way how to avoid crashing because trust me if you will believe that you only crash when you train and when you go to the battle you won't crash no you will crash there for sure because you can't just rely on luck you know so just create as more transitions as you can. Like I just said, with chair freeze, uh, like I know maybe like two or three transitions for now, which I can remember in case I go there. So I go out different from chair freeze, you know? So. start flowing around and you're gonna get to some something cool something interesting <laughs> I said something on beat Woo, music musicality <laughs> uh. so I see the question did you always practice what came to your mind even if it was hard mm. it's not that I just go and do it crash break my neck and stuff like that no I'm looking for my own way of understanding of that move because me I went through the point when people explain me something but I just don't get it I just don't understand what to do I see it I get it in my mind but I can't do it so my process of um, how to say of my own approach how to do it was long because I need to get it how to do it like with windmill I was struggling a lot like three years I think I just didn't know how my legs go but I kept on trying and trying and trying and trying feeling it and at some point I'm like boom got it you know so there is no secret ingredient guys in anything you just have to do it over and over and then you will see and you would say like hey like it's really hard to explain how exactly but just the process is the key like you're just gonna come to the point when you get it you know so just keep on trying don't give up and everything will be great so let me go know guys if you have any other question let me know how was this training with me uh, I hope some of things I said and showed was useful for you so you can maybe use it or would be great if people who were not motivated are now more motivated to do some things and practice my program of training um, right now I like so I, I have waves you know when I'm inspired and not inspired so right now I trying to keep myself inspired so I just come to training and I just do hard stuff first, like I warm up, I do hard stuff first. And then I do some creating things, just flowing with no rush. But when I prepare for competition, I try to train every day uh, in the morning and evening. So I do jump rope, one minute jump rope, then uh, one minute footwork, then again jump rope, then again one minute footwork again jump rope one and a minute footwork you dead by that time but it mm, you will feel if you will keep on doing it consistently later on you will feel that your breaking seems so light like you just can't fly and you can push yourself you can do handstand freezes everything feels lighter so to just be light and having stamina you have to like go around in the row like jump rope round 
or without jump rope, you know? But jump rope makes me, because when I do round, I wanna rest, you know? And jump rope doesn't let you rest. So you break, then you do a jump rope, you know? You, you tire it, but then you can slow it down a bit, and then again, fast, 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 fast. Again, round of footwork. Your legs are shaking, but then you're like, boom, five rounds, non stop, I can do it. And later on, you can um, add up more stamina, stamina practicing, like more rounds. So yeah, guys, if you trained with me, don't forget to stretch right now after we're done. Uh, I want to st uh, thank everybody today for joining my practicing. I hope you liked it. Let me know how it was. If you tag me on Instagram, it would be cool. Uh, don't forget to tag Red Bull BC1 for giving us a chance to train together. No matter what part of the world you are right now, I wish you a great day, great evening, wherever you're at right now. Have a good life. Be always inspired and never give up. All right? Thank you so much for your attention. Bye-bye.